Assalamu alaikum welcome to another video and today we will continue our excipient playlist and discuss the disintegrants in this video you will learn what are the disintegrants example of disintegrants what are the super disintegrants examples of the super disintegrants what is double disintegration and what are the importance of the disintegrants so let's start our video first of all we will discuss what is the disintegration disintegration is the process in which our tablet is broken down into small fragments or granules when it come in contact with the water or fluid this process is known as disintegration and you know that we perform disintegration test for our tablets or capsules if you do not know the standard disintegration times of various dosage forms like for effervescent tablets for film coated tablets for core tablets for sugar coated tablets for dispersible tablets the link of video is given in description must watch the video so now we will discuss what are the disintegrants disintegrants are the agents which basically facilitate the process of disintegration mean disintegrants are the excipients which are added into the tablet formulation to facilitate its breakdown into small fragment when this tablet come in contact with the water or intestinal fluid this is known as the class of excipients disintegrants what is the example of disintegrants commonly used disintegrant is the starch starch is one of the most commonly used conventional disintegrant and disintegrants are used in the concentration of about 5 to 15 percent mean conventional disintegrants are used in large quantity to give the effect of tablet breakdown now what are the super disintegrants as the name indicates super disintegrants mean these super disintegrants are superior than the conventional disintegrants and they make our disintegration process fast in the small concentration super disintegrants are usually used in 4 to 8% or up to 8% concentration what are the examples of super disintegrants cross carmelose sodium or sodium starch glycolate are one of the most important examples of the super disintegrants now one of the most important phenomena is the double disintegration mean what is a double disintegration we add our disintegrants at two points first half or some portion of disintegrants are added before the wetting step this is known as intragranular disintegrants and remaining portion of disintegrants or super disintegrants are added in the final blending this is known as extragranular disintegrant what will be the advantage of double disintegration the advantage will be the disintegrants or super disintegrants which we add extra granularly will break our tablet into small fragments or granules and the disintegrant which was added into the fine powder before kneading will break down our granules into the fine powder and will release our drug what is the importance of disintegrants basically disintegrants are very important because they play an important role for the tablet breakdown and then facilitate the drug release and play an important part to enhance our dissolution profile and enhance our product bioavailability so it was all about the disintegrants if you have any confusion you can ask in the comment box If you like the video share it to others and do subscribe my channel also visit my website farmandform.com to read more interesting articles till the next video allah hafiz